hi friends it's Hayo. welcome to my youtube channel thank you for watching and subscribing hi guys so in my previous video i talked about using the um, government equity loan help to buy skin to so buy your first property and uh, i talked to you about what kind of properties can you buy and what is the exit strategy how do you pay this money back is it free money when do you have to pay back and things like that so on this video i'm going to be talking to you about the pros and the cons of using the help to buy is it even a good thing i've spoken with a couple of people who use the um up to buy scheme so you buy their property and you know what were their testimonies were they happy using the help to buy scheme how easy was it for them to pay off the debt um did they ever regret buying it so come along with me if you're new to this channel subscribe to my youtube channel give your girl a thumbs up and put your comments down below uh so um talking about the pros the the pros which is like the benefits of using the help to buy government equity scheme the first one is you don't have to wait until you have built up your deposit you need as low as five percent deposit to buy the house to jump on the property ladder the government gives you um what's it called the government gives you uh 20 percent and then you know how many people are even able to drop 20 percent deposit to purchase a five hundred thousand or a three thousand of a property you know at this time that we are in and then you have access number two you have access to a cheaper mortgage because you're dropping a higher deposit um which is like 25 percent that means you're borrowing less imagine people who are dropping just 10 percent and they want to borrow uh 90 percent from the government you dropping 20 percent means you need a lesser uh, mortgage loan from the bank and that means your interest rate will be reduced you can get access to interest rate excuse me as low as 1.7 percent 1.6 1.5 like pretty low and if you're not using up to buy um you you see people with um interest rate as high as four percent three percent and ask me what's the meaning of this interest rate if you are on the 1.7 percent interest rate so what it means is for every one pound you borrow from the bank you're going to be returning 1.7 pounds that is one pound 70 pence that's a lot of money and in and we're saying this is good because you're using up to buy imagine you're not using up to buy imagine you're dropping 10 percent and things like that and you need a loan of 90 percent so that means for every and um, your interest rate is four percent what it means is for every one pound you borrow from the government you're returning four pounds back i mean for every one pound you borrow from the bank you're returning four pounds bank back to the lender that's not a good deal at all so the help to buy allows you access to cheaper mortgage banks like halifax bank hmm, they're fantastic halifax has fantastic deals um with as regards to um, um what's it called as regards to um first time uh, mortgage help to buy scheme and fantastic interest rate and then number three benefit is this 20 percent the government has loaned you is interest free for five years no one gives you a loan for five years and says see don't pay anything back stop paying me something back in the 10th term what's it called in the sixth year no one does that so it's interest free it gives you opportunity to relax to save back again build back this money that you've borrowed and start returning at the sixth year and then the question is how do you return this money you can either pay um by your sixth year if not you start you know and incurring interest or you pay minimum 10 percent during the five years and another 10 percent you know before the end of it so the minimum you can pay is 10 percent 10 percent or the entire money as the case may be and then um another benefit of it is you can always reduce your loan when you want which is why i just explained now you can pay 10 percent so if in the next three years you've been able to save up to 10 percent of the equity loan just pay 10 percent of the money so no one says no you must pay back in the first year or you must pay back in the fifth year 
All we know is it is interest free for five years and you can start paying back even almost immediately. But the minimum amount that would require you to pay is 10% of the value of the loan. Now, what are the disadvantage of, um, what's it called? What are the disadvantage of using the help to buy scheme? Number one, the amount you hold is not fixed. To be candid, I don't see this as a, as a disadvantage. And why I say I don't see this as a disadvantage is no one borrows you money. 20% for five years. So, but a lot of people don't like the fact that, oh, the government gave them 20,000. They want to pay back 20,000. They don't like the fact that if the value of the property is appreciated, they're going to be paying 20% of the new value of the property. I don't see that as a disadvantage to me uh, because it's really a big opportunity cost for you to, you, for you to even have that money at hand. At that, at that point in time to be able to jump on the property ladder and then um another um cons another disadvantage is that only certain lenders gives out money on help to buy scheme so we've seen some certain lenders that would say no they don't use this scheme simply because of the process of the mortgage application you have to wait till the government pays the lender the 20 percent and things like that but that still doesn't matter it still doesn't matter so you get banks like halifax like um, nationwide like barclays loads of banks out there loads of high street banks who give you the loan as well and another um, disadvantage i see about this which i know is you can make major changes to your house so say for example you want to build an extension or you want to do something to the front part or you want to do something to your ceiling you know like major structural changes you will need to get planning um what's it called consent and things like that because you're not the only one who has a stake in the house the bank has a stake the government has a stake you have a stake so that may be a disadvantage like you want to do some major changes to your house so yeah i see that as um a disadvantage Another disadvantage is the help to buy scheme is only available to the new built properties. Um, one thing I see about new built properties is they are quite small in size compared to like 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 50 years ago properties. So when you're a new built property, when the developers want to build, they already have, you know, each size, each plot, demarcation, structure and stuff like that, that they want this house to look like so it's only available to new build so if you're a family person that wants a big home and things like that you're restricted because you'll be forced to only use that you, you can only get that loan if you're buying a newly built property so that's one disadvantage as well and another thing which i talked about is you could be trapped in negative equity so if the value of your property goes down for example for any reason you pay the government that amount if the value of your property goes up for any reason you pay the government that amount as well and these are the pros and cons of using the government out to buy skin i'm going to be doing a table at the end of this video and i'll just show you you know how i've done the comparison about the pros and cons if you're new to this channel please give your girl a thumbs up subscribe to my channel encourage me to do better thank you